Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Enclave Leader, Vocal Lover, of course. And right now, we're having a good time with the Legion. We gotta do some more focuses. And we have a little bit of manpower, but you know, we've lost 13,000 people so far. It's unfortunate, but a necessary cost to get rid of, well, over 150,000 enemies. So we're doing pretty well. And we've got some comments to go through, quite a few still. And yeah, last time we capitulated at Heaven's Gate, but we're pushing, we're pushing as hard as we possibly can into enemy territory. While some of our soldiers might not be enjoying it, that doesn't matter, because, well, I guess they got encircled. God dang it. <laughs> okay, now, now they're free. Cool. Oh, actually, Lewis Bates. Let's see, let's see, one of the first comments. So what recommends I play as... New Canaan with Joshua Graham. I don't remember if I actually played as Joshua Graham yet or not. I think I probably did already. I just can't remember if I did or not, so... Uh, we'll see. We shall definitely see you guys are doing that stuff. So. What's the other army down here doing? You guys. One united front. That'll be good. Keep going, keep going. And... These guys have all are all together. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. Nice. Help out right here, too. Help out, help out, help out. You're going to go all the way up that way. And then you guys are going to do the same thing. We're pushing to the south as fast as we possibly can. You, we got cut off just a little bit, but whatever. Um, well, you guys can stop. I don't mind them attacking, but you guys can hold. You guys attack. You can get rid of that. That's fine. You should be able to win there. Not too many problems. Good, good, good. My main focus right now is for us to connect with the Enclave Power Armor, the majority of the Enclave Power Armor, and just kill them off that way. That is the absolute main goal of us right now. Oh, and Focus. Mm, I asked you guys yesterday, at the time of this recording, uh, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should do a new generation of officers, or old remnant officers, as well as officers by merit and skill, or officers by loyalty and devotion. So, there's support for all sides. At the time of me recording this, that we decided that for, for the t between the top two, it'll be a new generation of officers. It kind of makes sense, since we're going to reform us anyways, but... And for the bottom uh, part here, whether we do merit and skill versus loyalty and devotion, well, there's just a little bit more support for right now for loyalty and devotion. So we'll get new and loyal officers. Beautiful. A new generation of officers has arisen who have hidden throughout the wasteland. They have their own views of how to handle combat, and we'd be foolish to ignore them. Now we get, you know, bonus land action, which doesn't matter at all, but I don't really care. It's fine. Research won't matter too much about where we're headed, so. Oh, we cut these guys off too. Nice. Uh, I'm going to have you guys just take out all the victory points for now, so... I'm going to comment saying that before the war, America took out or conquered all of Mexico, so that's probably a good goal for us as well. We'll do definitely do that. No, you guys got to push into here. No, 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 no. you got to push into here. Cut them off, cut off that port, and they'll be... Comp oh, crap, they have another port too. God dang it. That sucks. Ace probably promoted. Please don't lose these three divisions of power armor, guys. Please don't lose this. I don't know how you got yourself stuck down here, but that's really stupid what you guys did. So now you're gonna have to rely on the infantry to do, do uh, you know, basically save you. Oh my gosh, these guys are so dumb. Force the attack and force the defense. Beyond stupid, I swear to God. Some of these generals. That's why we got need, we need a new generation of generals. Good, good, good. Oh, wow, we're actually doing very, very well here. I will send one of these armies back down here then, maybe. Because this is, this is ridiculous. It's just absolutely ridiculous how this ended up. Keep these guys in place. <clears throat> good, good. Hold. Kill them off. Kill every single one of these pieces of garbage off. We're going to save that power armor division. I don't care what happens. Good. Break their backs. Remember the oil rig. Across the nation, flags are half-masked today in honor of President Richard Singh and the brave men and women of the Enclave of the Laws were taken in a tragic terrorist attack on, in on the United States government's readout on the Poseidon oil rig. As Center of Biological Research and Aid programs, the oil rig was cruelly destroyed by a terrorist who blew up his 
It's a clean, efficient nuclear reactor. President Grant has decreed today, remember today, a national holiday to mourn those among us whose lives were cruelly taken by raiders, vandals, and terrorists. This is Enclave Radio, promising you, promising you that they are gone but not forgotten. A dark day for all of humanity. Flag staff has been liberated. <clears throat> Vertebrates sweep overhead as Enclave soldiers trample the Legion's banners. The city's slaves wait to learn whether they've found freedom or a new master, but the president can be proud to know that for the first time in 200 years, the Stars and Stripes flies over Arizona. Six Semper Tyrannus. Very cool. Oh god, you guys got yourself in a circle as well. Come on, man. Uh, I'm tempted to get more logistic companies and actually put them on our Enclave Power Divisions, Power Armor Divisions, just because that seems pretty useful. Pretty darn useful. Now, how's it going over here? I completely ignored this side, too. Well, it seems like we're doing okay. We could off another, what, 10,000 people, maybe? Perhaps? Help them out, that'd be good. How's this doing? This is doing better. Not great, but better. We took off all their supply points, except for the Valley of the Names. Which is fine, whatever, it happens. Great news, you guys go right there, keep them in place. You guys help kill these guys off immediately. I'm going to go to war for Area 6 again. I mean, we could probably keep just flying on it for it just because we can. And I want to make sure we go to war with them as soon as possible so we don't have to deal with this anymore. There you go. Close up this area. That would be good. Good. And we have no more command power. That sucks. Oh well. Fine, whatever. Oh god dang it, did they get into the port? Oh god, I hate Mexican robots so much. So you guys are doing a pretty good job. We are slowly coming down here. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Wow, we've already all the way down there, holy cow. We need to capitulate these guys next. That's absolutely the goal here to do so. Planta Grupo. New generation of officers. Let's go ahead and do the officers by loyalty and devotion. Too many peers still hide in the officer's ranks. We should promote only those loyal to America. Very, very good. Let's go ahead. Let's see. Nothing really here I care about too much. Don't care about that. Restart the movie industry? Sure, why not? That sounds like a good thing. Recruitment. Meh. Sponsor railway. Anything here? Power armor. Ooh, how about we do weapon stations? Air weapon stations, China Lake. One of the Red Menace. Develop the tribal lands of the ciphers. Nah, we're okay. Finish these guys off. Finish them all off. Do not let them escape. Do not let them go. There will be no escape for well, these treacherous pieces of garbage. Oh, they are. Oh, crap. What happened down here? Why did you get encircled? Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm glad we still have these three divisions. That'd be good. If we lose a few divisions, whatever, at this point, I can't even be bothered to care too much. I have a good feeling that these guys are pretty much screwed down there, but I'm really more focused over here. Really, just so much more focused. Alright, so all of you guys, you've done a great job so far, actually, really. Get down here and push, push, push into Dog City. Because these guys are fighting extremely... With a lot of vigor, we'll say, down here. Lots of vigor. How is Santa Ana looking? He doesn't have a lot of cores, I think. He's got a lot of manpower, of course. I mean, but... 571 divisions? Holy cow. A lot of enemies to take out, but that's okay. Good. We're doing a very good job here now. Finally, 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 finally. Move in, move in. Take him out, take him out. Do not let them escape. And you head on over here. Take him out. Every single good, good, good. Thank God that's done. Oof. Nice. Very good. Now, I gotta send you guys back down here because our divisions are big dum dums. Suppose I can send you guys down here too. That'd be fine, probably. Even though I might be taking you away from another front, which would not be very good. Keep these guys in place. Keep them in place. Let's go and grab some more logistic companies. We need them. And maybe some more. I mean, maybe we should start doing that, period. 
Alright, that's good. It's by the promoter. We have another Sukumon right there, which is good. Another comment. Uh, let's see. Play a Santa Ana or the Republic of the Rio Grande? Well, at the time of this recording, I've literally just played a campaign as Santa Ana, so... Like, within the past, like, month at the time of this recording, so I, I, I'm good at playing Santa Ana. There's only really one path you can take. So I'm not really too interested in playing another Santa Ana campaign anytime soon, but, you know, eventually probably I'll do it again. Maybe. And I'll let these guys come in through here. Whatever. I don't care. Hmm... Penitentiary. Uh, that is more important than going down here, guys. That is definitely more important. Oh, two sons of gun. Good, good, good. Help to reduce the amount of divisions we have to kill off, which is awesome, 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 awesome. Cut him off if you can. Cut him off, cut him off. Good. Oh, yes. We don't have a lot of divisions to spare to do this, but that is fine with me. Hundred sixty-four thousand, twenty-four thousand from the Eastern Legion. Actually, how much manpower does do these guys have over here? A thousand. They have up to seventy-five divisions. All right, interesting, interesting. Let's see. Someone recommends we upgrade radar and dynamite. Look, if you want to read about traders from Hawaii, go right ahead. This happens every other campaign or so. Tell us the stories from your homeland. Buy some of the exotic goods for our people. Turn them away. Technically, they should be under us, but I'm gonna go grab some exotic goods because we get more stability. Good, good. Mm. So good. Oh, we got the Legion. They're done. Hounds of Day. Mm. Oh, we already are fighting Hounds of Day, so what? God dang it. I hate how many access points they have through here. Oof. Oh, God, you bunch of idiots. You got encircled. Why? Why would you do that? Just come over here. A bunch of dum dums. I swear to God, man. Some of these people are just real dum dums. If we could capture a gentle, that'd be great. Level five. I'm pretty expect. Pretty much expected. I'll be honest. Gun nut. No, no, no. I'll get nerd rage. That'd be nice. Any other things we do here? Nope. Any other generals? Yes, Braxton. Aqua boy girl. Nope. All right then. Keep crushing and killing. Yeah, these guys are big stupids. Ugh, why? Just head there, just go over, go through the river. I mean, you might get destroyed, but at this point, I don't care. You guys are getting destroyed, too. That makes sense. Why? Officers by loyalty and devotion. Reform. That spin, polish, that crisp salute, the ability to launch a pincer into the enemy's positions. Our officers are as good as any West Point turned out. No effect? But whatever. What the? What, what's, what's going on down here? Why, why are we looking at this? What, what is, why are you all the way down here? No, 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 no. Oh my god, I hate fighting through all these mountains. Oof. Not bueno. Head on over to... Uh, I don't want to say that area. Maybe, I mean, that might be okay, though. Since they do have to take up this area as well, so I'm kind of okay with that. Please, just, no. I did not tell you to go down that way. I know I did not. The game is very weird sometimes. It just tells soldiers to go down that way, and I told, told did not tell them to do that. And they all got in circle here. Are you kidding me? Are you... Why are you moving that way? I swear to God, this doesn't make any sense. Sometimes, the Hoi 4 AI is just really stupid. Beyond stupid. Get out of there, you idiots. Oh my god, who is moving down that way? And why are you not moving? Get in there! Are you kidding me? I told them to go that way and they don't go. Doesn't make any sense. Actually, plasma rifles, 5 breakthrough, 15 soft attack, 8 breakthrough, yeah. I don't care if it's ahead of time. Can we upgrade this? Oh, we can't. Oh, that sucks. There we go. That's Oh, that's going to be nice. Yeah, Braxton, you're a bunch of idiots. You are really bu just a bunch of idiots here. Advanced power plants. Pretty nice. Not super necessary right now, but super nice. Uh, let's see. Nothing down there. Mm, Outputs. Someone did just recommend more grenades, so let's go with... 
grenade machine guns. I think that that's probably a little bit nicer for us right now. Come on, kill them off, kill them off. You guys take so long to do anything. You guys really need some logistic companies. And you guys aren't doing anything either. Maybe it's because I didn't give you orders. That's probably why. Because these guys are coming back in. If these guys escape, they might have. Can't really tell. Better radar. Even better radar. Can you... Can, our soldiers just decided to get encircled and kill, get themselves killed off. I mean, you know, I don't understand sometimes what the AI is thinking. This doesn't make any sense. Alright, so this army is completely dead. Okay, Henry Ector, you are, you are extremely stupid. And they just refuse to move. I don't like this. Th this is not a, a Old World Blues thing. This is a Hoi 4 thing. They can't move because they're out of organization. So you give them an organization, you got to have them to move. Well, you're as good as useless, so you're dead. You're also dead. I can't save you guys, so... I mean, that is beyond pathetic. I don't know why that was designed like that, but that is incredibly stupid. Just one of the dumbest things in Hoi 4. Now, Genta should be running out of manpower by now. Yeah, they already are out, so which is good. Still fighting... Honestly, at this point, we're just fighting, like, Santa Ana soldiers. That's all they are. Oh my gosh. Actually, the Santa Ana... Honestly, we might just be able to pair drop onto his lands. Depends how much he's cored. Oh, he's cored all this? and eh, maybe not. If we could capitulate this part of the Legion, that would be great, but they're nowhere near getting ready to be capitulated. Oh, I don't, I don't trust Hector here. He's, he's, he's a big dum-dum. But there's nothing else I can do about this. At this point, you know, trying to push into here was a big mistake. A massive mistake. Come back up here. I mean, you, you, you just... The AI just cannot comprehend what to do. They're just too stupid to do anything right. And this division's probably gonna die over there, but whatever. Uh, you guys also retreat. At this point, I mean, there's nothing we can really do, maybe? Hans are dead. Why have they not capitulated yet? We already took the capital. Boulder is their capital? Well, how about you guys start going to Boulder? Off to core reform. Let's do. <clears throat> National Guard. The idea of a citizen militia is cute, but pre war American formalized military force is made up of civilians subjected to military training. Why should we do anything else so different? Take that. Head on to Dog City. You know what? I'm going to sacrifice these guys. If you don't want to move, I'm going to sacrifice you. Economic resurgence. Who cares wins? Good. Logistics 1. Scrum Logistics 2. Immediately put them under power armor because actually just pretty much all our divisions. Because it's so bad around here. Uh, maybe not the infantry, maybe. Come on, keep killing them. They're coming back and again and again and again. Oh my god. This is just, this is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Safety regulations are fine. Let's grab some regulation override, maybe. No more HP, perhaps. Yeah, I don't know. Hoi 4, like, I have to press super hard on my mouse to get this to actually do that. It doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense at all. Come on. Actually, if we take the pass, how much war score would we need after that? Shouldn't be that much. And how are you not done here in Baja yet? How are you not done? Get your butts and get down here. Come on. I'm sorry if I'm sounding a little rage. I'm just very extremely annoyed at all this, like, the incompetence. Like, it's, it's so bad. It's so bad. Like, come on. We've literally killed a hundred uh, Republic of Mexico divisions, and it's still not enough. These guys are coming back as well, so we're going to call down another army, maybe make more divisions or something. Yeah, screw it. You know, I, I went back to this one. We're going to go back to... I don't want to do that one. Ooh, I don't want to do that one either. 
Yeah, we gotta go back to that one. Blow him immediately if you can. We're gonna need more divisions. Um, hmm. I'm gonna set him down there first. That's fine. That's fine. You got enough manpower, anyways. And we have more than enough equipment, if I remember correctly. I will sacrifice these guys if I have to. Uh, I'm pretty sure I already did that, yeah. Cool. Good, good, good. You know, you tell them to do something, and they just refuse to do it. I just don't understand why. Like, I don't care about supply. I really don't. Go to Boulder. I don't care if they get encircled. Good. Good. We're doing really well against Gento, which is nice, but still. Thomas Ruby Rim. Oh, can you use a proxy? Yes. Yes. That would be very good. Okay, so we did. We finished that. That is really good. Okay, so you guys head on back over here. And. Uh, yeah, you guys can do that. That's fine. But you six, good luck. You're going to need it against these guys. Fort Desolation, huh? Well, I'm sending you up this way. You take out all those areas. Lanius is only halfway. Oh my goodness. And you guys got encircled, so just head on down here or something. I don't know. Good luck with that. Well, looks like you guys actually showed up over here. Not bad, not bad. If I lose a lot of soldiers, so be it, whatever. Okay, so which one is this one? Dog City? Oh, I don't care about Dog City. Who cares about Dog City? What the heck are you doing? Send all but one that way. It's fine. There you go. Come on, capitulate the Hounds of Day. Please, just capitulate them. Good. Kill off all the divisions. And we did it. Nice. Good job. Great job. Even more soft stack. Um, we're here to cause a lot of casualties. Good, good, good. Another comment. Let's see. Someone recommends to play Desert Rangers next. I mean, we'll get there. I, I promise you that. I got, actually, you got a few plans for what's coming up on the next uh, couple episodes. Or episodes. A couple campaigns for this channel on Old World Blues specifically, so... We'll see. National Guard, very good. And uh, the Department of Homeland Security. Communist Legion spies and Brotherhood agents look everywhere. It's only natural to form a department to root them out. Alright, so we got Fort Desolation. Where's the next... Uh, it came back to here, that's fine. That makes it easy. Alright, you guys. All right, so it's all you guys, that's fine. that's fine. You guys come here and you just keep killing them. We're going to link up with those armies down there. That'll be good. U10. Actually did something successfully. Surprising. Fine, so be it. Good, good, good. Anything else? Economic resurgence. Ace by the promoted. Mm -hmm. Ooh, war movie. That's not bad. See, sponsor comedy. More legitimacy. Well, we don't really need it too much, but... We get some more stability, too. Not bad. Not a bad thing. Uh, new citizen scare package to help down a lot of resistance. Invest into the military academy because we can. Nice. Not bad, actually. So let's kill these guys off. That's fine. Still trying to break down there. At this point, I think I need to break up these armies. So, you guys. You're all around there. I'm going to actually send you guys up here to deal with this because this is a big front. This is a quite a large front. And I'll have you guys actually... Maybe we can get to Gen Costa del Sol and start working on this side down here. Now, this is actually putting a little bit of fear into me right now. So, let's come up back here. We'll do this one instead. If they want to take a bunch of Mexican land, that's fine with me. But, we gotta make sure these guys are okay. Actually, we're really close to linking up, so that's not too bad. Keep going. We're doing a little better now. Apologize for the rage. A little bit of rage earlier. That's not that much rage, though. It's more annoyance or irritation than rage. Cool. And then take out Mexico and fully annex them because that's what America did back in the day. So, that was one of the comments. I think down here. And I get sniper because he can. I mean, we've killed off like another 25 divisions from these guys. We've killed off a bunch of Legion divisions. Eastern Legion, I should say. We're, almost, we're already all the way in Texas. Holy cow. Holy cow. Because my goal by the end of this episode is to capitulate this 
this giant horde of enemies, Kaiser's Legion's faction. So that best way, we'll have one more episode left in this campaign. We'll, we'll take out everyone else out. And obviously, we've not yet gone to war with the Sky Reavers, so it's going to take a little bit more time. But that's alright. Things take time. Things always take time. Hmm. Well, it's disabled, so... Excuse me. We can't do anything about that. Anything else? Mixing operative captured. Cool. Alright, so actually, I'm going to throw these extra soldiers now on these guys. Because they need them. They need help just taking back this territory. That'd be good. Logistics 2. Good. Grab Logistics 3. And we actually have enough... Finally, finally! After being in a massive army... Oh god, I hate raids. Uh, massive war. We can actually, like, have army XP, which is weird. Very, very weird. Alright, so if you guys... Are you guys actually moving in? Are you not doing anything? Who's this green group? So you guys... There you go. Well, if there's no one here, I'm not going to bother with that. I'd rather focus time doing something else, like... Honestly, capitulating to the Legion. The Eastern Legion would probably be best. This territory is important to take out, though, but whatever. And actually, we capitulate the Eastern Legion, then they're gone. They're not They're not even part of the regular Legion, so... Oh, you have to go around? That's so stupid. Yeah, that's alright. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go, nice! So our rockets, you're not gonna get anything out of this, but... Wow, the Legion took a lot, but hey, that's one enemy gone and dusted with. Very good. Awesome, actually. That's really, really awesome. You guys are up here. You still have to deal with these pieces of garbage. You guys are over here. You did a great job. Start focusing on Oklahoma a little bit, maybe. See what happens. I guess technically we could pair drop. Um, there's there's a lot of cord lands, so that's my worry. There's so many cord lands that it might be worth pair dropping. It might not. You know what? We might be able to risk it, though. We might just risk it. Because there's not that many cord lands. Yeah, Republic of the Rio Grande is cord. This stuff is cord. That stuff is not cord. And part of Moctezuma and the other sons of Tlaloc are cord. So you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and set up a pair uh, drop into enemy lands just in a little bit. Alright, everyone. So instead, I tried the pair drop technique and it... Santa Ana's got too many victory points for right now, but let's go and do another focus. How about that? Let's see. I know I'm, a, I'm just focusing a little a really strongly on the right side, but I want to finish the side up so I don't have to come back over here. Emergency draft. Pre-war America made all Americans register for potential military service. Although we're obviously not going to conscript everyone in the nation, it can't hurt to track everyone who might we want in the army. So we're just going to keep doing this. Just keep on going, 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 and trying to kill them off as fast and as hard as possible. Anything around here? Uh, no. I obviously had to reload the game. We can just sponsor a war movie, of course. Stuff over here. I'm not really interested in that. Reservation. Rebuilding the Rockies. Wait, why do they need slaves? Well, let's do that when the war's over. And Seal Beach. Naval Weapon Station Seal Beach. Why not? Sounds pretty good to me. Alright, so it looks like we could get encircled around here. Where? Where is this army? Like, it's all over the place here. I don't like how it's all over the place. We gotta recover our tracks. Let's do that. That'd be good. You guys over there. You guys are still struggling down here, which is, well, not ideal, but whatever. You guys do that. Head on out. Spread out. Finish those guys off. That'll be good. And, and I told these guys just go over here and just kill them all off. Yeah, they, they had too many victory points, which I think is kind of stupid, but it makes sense. I'm not going to really complain about that. It just makes sense. It just works. Well, sometimes. But paratrooping is a lot of fun. I almost exclusively only do with the Enclave just because... I don't like losing soldiers. Oh my god, I hate raiders. Like, there's got to be a mechanic where you just say, you know what, no. No no more ratings from you guys. Because I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with raiders. I don't have an army to deal with raiders right now. It's so stupid. Like, we're currently in a war and you raid us? Alright, well, well, I'm just going to kill every single one of you later on then. Nope. Oh, that is not good. Well, I'd rather get the manpower back, so. Oh, well, we just lost, what, nine divisions? Great job, game. Great job, General. Good job, Braxton. I hate Santa Ana so much. But, you know, it's part of the mod. 100, 100 300, some. And by the time we're done here, Mexico is not going to be Mexican for very long. 
Oh boy. I mean, look how many soldiers we've killed. Over 200,000. A quarter million. So bad. So bad. Oh, uh, regardless. Let's go ahead and do some more stuff. Well, yeah, let's get some better doggos. We love the doggos, right? Classic explosives. Machine assisted decryption. Good stuff like that. And they're just coming through these regions again, but you know what? With you guys, you're going to force the attack. You're going to kill every single one of these guys right now. Now, obviously, we won't be able to beat up all the manpower that they have, but, you know, whatever. They still have 185,000, but they're losing quite a few divisions. Stop it, for the love of God. No, you're not even moving. Just lose. I don't care. Just, why can't we stop? We don't, we don't need this. We really don't need this. Oh, my God. That's so stupid. You're wasting time. You're literally just wasting our soldiers right now for some stupid raid that Hoi4 thought it was a good idea. Come on. Actually, I'm taking them out right now. I don't care what happens. I'm taking these pieces of garbage out. These people can go eat dirt. Uh, we have no more planes anyways, but... Great loss. Alright, let's go and do army reserves. Americans of the Great War were allowed to do the flag when the nation was under attack, serving as part-time soldiers. They can do so again. They definitely can do so again. So are you done? Are you are you done wasting my soldiers' lives or something right now? Come on, guys, seriously. Uh, go, go back down there. Yeah. Absolute waste of time, doing crap like that. All right. Head up there. We're going to kill every single one of these pieces of garbage as soon as we can. Read just five, and we're just going to ready and just attack them. Because we can't deal with that right now. We've got too many things going on here. Now, let's see what's going on over here. Sacramento. Come on. Yeah, I think this this needs to be a little bit bigger, or we really need an X button or something like this here. It just it's a little annoying when you have to click on it so many times. No, don't tell me that it can be upgraded. Alright, come on, Santa Ana. You're losing divisions by the day. Alright, so you guys are looking actually really, really not good here. So, I said come over here. Well, at least our soldiers are looking a little better. Not great. At least the Enclave Power Armor soldiers are. It's good. Got first compact. Don't really care about them right now. Power Armor Scavengers. More time to raft? No, we don't need that. We'll be more than fine. Reservation. Tax breaks? No, not really interested in that. Why are we just here? I mean, it's just a long grind against these guys. That's all it is. Now they've lost 300 divisions. Yep, we just killed another 40 divisions since the last time we looked at this. How many Mexicans does it take, Santa Ana? For him to get the point. Good. Uh, go night person since we're attacking a whole bunch. Infantry. Kind of Desert Fox would be good. And Ezra. Strong back. Eh, you might as well. Since we do get encircled from time to time, so. And anything here? No, let's go with the sniper because we can. Which guy's even stronger. And what the garbage is going on here? No, just don't surround them. How about you just go in? Oh, because they're ships, that's why. Oh, it's so stupid. So stupid. You guys just all come down here and just spread out that way. There you go. How many more divisions? We've killed another, like, 50 divisions. Like, they, they have nothing left. Do they have any... they got to have enough stockpiles, right? Oh, they got plenty of planes. Yeah, they got lots and loads and loads of planes. It isn't that Santa Ana is difficult, he's just annoying. Oh, they got forces too, look at that. Yeah, well, they got enough equipment, but their divisions just get shredded. Plus, guys. Um, I don't care, just, it's only going to be one front. We're going to push in through here and just kill every single one of these people off. Alright, so at this point, we're going to retreat you guys as well once again. You guys come right here. And they'll do a good job. I know they will. 
Army reserves. Let's do fuel efficiency. It is proving surprisingly difficult to maintain a massive air force in the blighted waste. Perhaps we can adopt some Trilox innovations to use our air force and our, and our map, uh, power armor. Good. Crush every single one of them and kill every single one of them off. No mercy. Now he has... Oh, he just got 25 more divisions back somehow. Thank you very much. Keep going, keep going. Your goal. That's all the way down here. And you, you can't stop. Frank Buford, you gotta go. Go, 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 go. How long is this gonna take? Too long. Grenade rifles, nice. Let's grab some more medics. Yeah, let's grab some more of this. That'd be nice. Updated production. Good. Grenade rifles would be nice. Be very good. Cybernetic enhancements. Grab even better cyber dogs. Oh, wow. 93,000 manpower. Not bad. Uh, Chris Hamilton, huh? Chris Hamilton. Hmm. Where are you guys at? What's, what, what's going on? Why, why are you suffering so much attrition? What's going on here? Oh, you got complete... Oh, my God. I hate this AI. I swear to God. Like, it's just like, oh, we're just getting circled. Just go get circled. Just go get circled. Come on, seriously. Do they not even have a port here? Hmm. You know, we'll build a port fast enough. You guys hold. Maybe. Stay. Keep that, that point as well. You all hold and circle. And we're going to build up quite a few ports so we can maybe rescue you guys. Ugh, I hate waterways. This is, this is all the fault. Literally, just waterways. It just breaks up your lines way too much. Like, I don't mind a few waterways, but sometimes it's 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 an extreme. It's an extreme amount that should it has to be addressed sometimes, man. I swear to God, it's it's so annoying. I remember watching ISP videos and he's like, "Yeah, waterways are one of the worst things ever, 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 ever." And they make sense, but just sometimes just too many of them, man. Just too many. Thank goodness for Thomas Rimmy Rim. He's doing a really, really good job. Well, we killed off, well, only a little over 287,000. It's not enough. Eagle Pass, come on, guys. Keep killing them, keep killing them. Are you, what are you guys doing here? Wait, why are we building it right there? Entire army is going to be defeated because these guys are stupid. Oh, please don't tell me that. Come on, build, build, build. Oh, maybe we should have kept that one. Maybe you just get a blip of... I said this earlier, but why? Just why? Like, sometimes they just don't move. You guys just hold for now. You got even more supply coming in. That's good. That's very, very good. Get some more of this. Unreasonable demands. I don't care what they want. I really don't care what they want at this point. Supply will be getting better and better as we build up more ports. So I'm not too worried about that. That army's stuck for now, though, which is just... I don't know why. They're so stupid. If you guys can't retreat, we're going to abandon this place. I can't leave. We can't even retreat. Get your 6 is good. Get out. Uh, at this point, no. Hold. Everyone is going to make their way over to here. Hopefully they can get to Yuma. Get on the boats. Get out. Get out. I said get out. Retreat if you have to. Just retreat. I'd rather have... Oh my god. You dummies. You bunch of dummies. Yeah, these guys are going to get encircled. Oh, hold on. Maybe not. Get out. Get out. Get out. What the hell are you doing? There's no. There's literally no reason for you to go. Oh, what the? Why are you going that way? There's a port. Oh my god. There's a port right there, and they refuse to do anything about that. What the heck? Why? There's a port where we, right where you were at, and you, and they did nothing. Who came up with that? Oh my goodness. Yeah, Santa Ana's just pooping out divisions like crazy now. No matter how good or bad they are. He's just crapping them all out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and we still have this stuff, too. I'm sorry. I've just This this episode's been a little... Just an irritating. 
because of all the amount of divisions. They're not good divisions, they're just how many divisions we got to deal with, but the Department of the Navy. Even before the oil rigs fell, the Enclave did not have much in the way of the Navy. But now that we have access to the deep rivers and ocean again, perhaps we should revive the Great White Fleet. Just let me go. Let me just go away. Come on. Why do we need to wait for war justifications for this? That makes absolutely zero sense as a reformist enclave. That makes no sense. Let's do that. Cut you guys down in half. Boom, boom, boom. Recon gliders. That's, uh, we don't really need those. Mark threes. I know we don't have an airbase big enough, but once a battle starts, they should transport themselves somewhere else. But it doesn't really matter. I guess we could always uh, shift things around and make this a little bigger. There we go. Just in case. We'll do this around other areas here. Because it's looking like we're have a, we have a severe lack of air bases around here. So, more radar, more radar, just in case. Maybe even some more infrastructure, maybe? We might need some more supplies, so. Natural disasters. We can't spare anything. I'm not going to give a jack squad because we can't afford it. Alright, where are you guys at? You're still on your boats. Oh, wait. No, no, you're not. Okay, that's it. I hate these people so much. I really do. All the gains we've made are becoming undone. You just gotta go. Alright, anything else here? This is a scare package would be good. Grand solicitations. Actually, how much caps do we have? We have ooh, quite a few. There you go. Many prospectors, why not? Costa is almost god, which is very good. Come on, go, 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 go. Regulation override. Let's grab some signal transitions or translations. Translation, that's be good. Good. Ghost is gone. That's good. 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 Finally, those guys are gone, and you guys got encircled. Why? Why? DMS would be good. Uh, we're going in. I'm going to murder these people until there's literally none of them left. But I'm all right there except one. Go ahead and up down there. It's fine. The hell with you guys. We waited way too long to do this. Where's the attack? Everyone in. Everyone in. Go, 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 go. I don't care if you win or if you die or not. I'm taking area 51 right now. Every single one of these people has to die. No, no survivors. Absolutely no survivors. If you see anyone moving, you shoot them on sight. And Area 51 is ours. What else do we need to take these pieces of garbage out? They, they move way too fast. Holy cow. They really moved way too fast. Let's grab some medics. That'd be good. Come on, guys. I told you to move. I told you to go crazy. And yet, they don't do it. Like, I don't understand. Sometimes, the AI. It's, it's just really stupid. But then again, it's only four. What do you expect? Oh, come on. We lost one division here. Unfortunate. Well, we've been killing a lot more divisions. It's a good Department of the Navy. <clears throat> Mexican, Mexican Engineering. Robot Parade, Robot Parade, wave the flags that the Enclave made. Robot Parade, Robot Parade. Robots obey what the Enclave say. Well, we could have used robots, but... Even though they're not that too, super cheap. I mean, how many, how many guys do we have to kill Santa Ana? How many? And these are not actually just, like, robots. Like, these are actual people, too. What? Garbage are you doing over here? You guys come down here, actually. You'll be fine. You guys, you're doing okay. Yeah. Shoot on sight. Literally no survivors. Just doesn't matter what age, what sex they are, who they are. If you see anyone from the enemy's faction, just instantly vaporize them. Now that should be enough. That should be more than enough to capitulate these guys. There we go. I should have taken these guys out a long time ago because raiding is such BS when you're at war. Why did this flip to the other? What? What? Why? That doesn't make any sense. Why does this flip to the Legion stuff? 
Who did what? What? As you guys can tell, I'm mentally just going crazy right now, apparently, just because this doesn't make any sense. This does not deserve to go to any Legion territory or Legion control. Why? We're not a we're still at war with them, but they didn't do anything of that. Mexico's gotta go, come on. All right, this point we gotta consolidate our holdings a little bit better than this because we are starting to lose some of our strength by dividing ourselves up. You're gonna go straight down here. I don't care what happens. You gotta move, 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 move. Why are you going over there? Why are you going on boats? Just walk down there. The AI is just ridiculously wonky. I swear to God, man, ridiculously wonky. the next one done? Well, it'll be a while. Come on, just take it. Just take their stuff. I mean, this is so stupid. Why does it have to be this drawn out? My god. We've literally killed hundreds upon hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of divisions. And it's still never enough. No. Just go. Th get out. Get out. Get. Oh my. Good god. Just leave. You know, if those divisions die, so be it. They chose their death. They chose that they wanted to stay there. I told them to leave, but they did nothing. They did absolutely nothing to save themselves. Get out of there, you ding-dongs. Are you guys done? Good. That's good, at least. There you go. the best logistics. And Mexico's just barely defeated. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. And you have a time limit to go to War of the Legion and Mexico? Yeah, I don't think so. That's so stupid. guys. You guys are up. Oh my god, you're still fighting up here like a bunch of idiots. You know what? Here's what I'm going to play this off screen until like we get to the point where I'm, I'm comfortable with it, but I'm going to read you the next focus and maybe a few others. So, Liberty Ships. For the Great War, the United States Navy sealed its world seas and brought the fight to China's shore directly. Although it'll be a long time before we can do that again, we can take the first steps and get our men, their sea legs, as it were. Alright everyone, so here we are at, finally. Finally. And for the love of God, finally, November 26, 2286, we have 100% war uh, capitulation for the Republic of Mexico, which honestly, man, I'll, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be frank, I took a break after, you know, doing this stuff, but it's just not fun. It's just not fun playing or fighting against Mexico. I mean, remove half the waterways and it might be fun, but this is ridiculous. I know we pissed off Mexico earlier, but I don't care. It doesn't matter. The Legion, totally fine, you know, a little issue here and there. Heaven's Gate, whatever. Hounds of Day, not that bad. But Mexico, they just, they literally just threw hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of divisions against us. All the time. And fighting through mountains of Colorado, which was pretty annoying. And our soldiers still couldn't figure out what was going on. And this, all the waterways, they just break your front lines. I mean, no thanks. No thank you. So I'll be honest, I apologize if I sound a little no no irritated, just because I am. But, like, this is probably one of the worst videos I've ever done on Old World Blues. Probably. Of, about how irritating it is fighting such an overwhelming enemy that you can't even, like, you know, cheese it by doing pair drop. You can't even do that because you don't have enough divisions. Oh, my goodness. Just, I really hope there's a genocide button. I really hope there is someday because after what Mexico put us through or put me through, mm -mm. every single one of those people got to go bye-bye. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But thank God it's over, it's done. And the next episode will be the last one. Peace conference, yeah, no. Mexico, completely dominated now. Going to be direct rule from Navarro. Absolutely, early death, good. Good, good, good. 
Investigate rumors. Well, we might as well do that too. So, uh, taking out the trash. Well, you know, sometimes I don't understand. Why is it that the achievements sometimes last forever? Well, other times they just they, as soon as they appear, they they disappear. This doesn't make any sense at all. This makes zero sense. Now let's go into this as well because now we can do that. All right. So when can I uh, genocide? Please, please, for the love of God, please, because at this point I think we deserve it. ENC epilogue, a series of powerful tools that will follow within the purview of the Commander in Chief, the fate of the ghouls. Uh, I've just looked at the Declaration of Independence. Since the Great War, the Declaration of Independence was stored in a lead sealed vault in Washington, D.C. We can send an expedition to return to the government's hands. Yes. Our initial expedition to the Capitol Waste Center reveals that damage was worse than we feared. It looks like the region's water supply is contaminated, super mutants and raiders fight over the Washington Mall, and everything's in ruins. We can stick with our original plan to just steal the Declaration of Independence, but we could also set up a humanitarian mission to help the people of the wasteland. What would be greater than seeing the new American states' tr uh, troops occupying the Capitol Wasteland? Come back we, when we reunite the West. People of the Wasteland, your saviors are here. Well, I don't care about saviors being a savior too much. Um, I'll come back. That'd be all right. And actually, well, we we could start doing stuff about the reservation. To a great surprise, the underground facility that lost Alamo's nuclear testing facility has been has survived, but has become popular by ghouls. The Secret Service took out the Gatling guns guarding the reservation with a few fat men and overran the facility with minimal enclave casualties, and its secrets were revealed when we stormed a room labeled the Green Chamber. The, the vats contained humans with a bloated stomachs and was dead silent, save for a baby's cry. Some of the ghouls had created a baby ghoul. One of the ghouls claimed that these tests would ensure a future for ghouls with additional refinement, but most find using humans as brood mares to be horrific. Some of the ghouls pleaded for us to spare their youth while claimed that they would re reproduce on their own. We'll strip the facility, obviously, but what do we do to these ghoul kids? Kill the monsters? So we could raise a few ghouls to be loyal to the enclave, huh? Spawns a unit of enclave ghouls ready to fight and die for America? Uh, as, as red as that is... Uh, uh, enclave ghouls... Yeah, it's red. We gotta choose that one. So what do these guys look like? Gamma core? Eh, you're kind of trash. I'll be honest. We can't. Oh, we can't get rid of them. Come on. Why, 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 why can't we get rid of them? Why can't we get rid of them? That doesn't make any sense. What the heck? So at this point, let's go ahead and surround the Desert Rangers because we probably can train everyone. And I actually made another army here too. Scrapper's compact has got to die. Thank you. Let time go on because I don't even care at this point. Uh, let's see. But yeah, Mexico. I mean, they just, so many, they just pop up divisions, 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 divisions. It's, it's ridiculous. And there's no, there's no stop to it. So, I mean, I'm never doing that again. I'm never going to do that again. Just because that's just too ridiculous. That's just stupid. Ridiculous. So, uh, LMGs, HRWCs, yeah, I'll do this one. Why not? Because it makes more sense for us to get test cannons and the Legion guerrillas. When the Legion's collapse, guerrilla raids and American forces come to an end onto Chicago. One day we're going to deal with this one. That'll be good. And we remember America. In his darkest hour before election, Grant asked, Is there anything left? Anything that still carries America's voice? The president's decision to save Flagstaff demonstrated the, his faith that the answer was yes. America didn't need nukes, it needed the slaves who deserted in the dark of night, the followers who spread their teachings in the lands of the Midwest Brotherhood, and the Minutemen who held the line against the Institute. Grant was a flawed man, and he made many, many mistakes, but he turned the enclave into a bridge between the old and new world. He brought the reunited states together. Thanks to him, there will be men and women who, for, who wore its flag proudly at Hoover Dam at the Second Alamo and even at the Capitol Wasteland. Men and women who walked out of and into a history deeper than they knew of. The men and women of America. God bless the Enclave. Cool. And we're done here pretty much, actually. Yeah. That's nice, finally. We have no army XP left, which is fine, whatever. And someone did recommend in the comments that we should do more EPA stuff, so we need a certain person here. Uh, let's see. Lieutenant Coilus? Yeah. We need that one for the EPA. Head of the EPA. So, we need to preserve what remains of our, yeah, of our nature and preserve the planet for future generations. Plus, we'll gain popular support doing so, which would be a good thing. In the hearts of consumer goods, factories, whatever. Shady Sands can level up. That is nice. Promote the node. Let time go on. And, seriously, I need a genocide button. I want... Mm, the Mormon faith. Pre-war Mormons were per per perversely and intensely American people viewed with suspicion by the rest of the nation. Two centuries of independence have only encouraged their sense of apartness. How shall we handle them? We may have liberated the people of Utah, but its inhabitants don't seem to act like it. Many associate us with, with the enclave peers who aided Kaza before the Great War. The United States government cracked down on Mormonism due to their opposition to uh, <clears throat> security protocols. To Mormonize, we are occupying a people who have been freed since the Great War. As such, new Canaanite guerrillas kill our brave men and women, fanatics who quote the words of Joshua Graham and swear to carry out the fire of the Holy Spirit, until they stand before the Lord for judgment. Although we have promised that the First Amendment protects Mormon faith, we have to do something to hold on to this troubled land down. Autonomy? They shall tire before we do. Waging war against good people is bad for the soul. 
The children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem said, Raise it even to the foundation. Yes. Uh, La Garita. Huh. And we're still going to kill off Andres, which is going to be a pain in the butt, but whatever, I don't care. Oh, uh, what do we have? Plenty of factories now. Now that we're completely overpowered. Ooh, more gunships? Don't mind if we do. We'll probably grab that one. Let's get some more planes, too. And more doggos, because everyone loves the doggos. And everyone should love the doggos. Good, 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 good. And who can we go to war against, buy, and when? Ciphers and Scrappers Compact. Sounds like a good time. Economic positions, I don't really care. There you go. Control men. I, I think after this episode, I'm just going to uh, install the uh, fast justification war mod. Make it faster. So for whatever reason, Mexico's people no longer welcome us as liberators. Soldiers once greeted with flowers are now greeted with curses. Some of our troops have complained their beer bottles were filled with another liquid. Meanwhile, some members of the Congress have questioned our latest military appropriations. It seems like the, like deluded fools aren't happy with the, our support for Mexican reconstruction. We just saved you? Boss, they can have his lands back. We'll restore the pre-war government. No, I'm going to kill every single one of them down there. They wanted that government, and I'm going to get rid of every single one of those pieces of garbage. Now, if you're, if real life Mexicans are totally fine, but in this Old World Blues, holy crap. Like, I am ready to just exterminate every single one of them. They wanted Santa Ana, and they they got him, so... What do you expect? Thank you, thank you. Lafayette, good. Take him out, hopefully, next. Houston Rockets. Uh, Ciphers, yeah, I guess we could go against the Ciphers, since we have a war goal against them anyways. There you go. Good, good, good. Lucas, anything here? Found the EPA. Nice. Nice person. And the Gek Project. The Gardens of Eden Creation Kit was designed to revive the waste after nuclear war. The reunited States can use this technology on a national level to turn the deadwood forests into redwood forests once again. Homemade Dr. Bagarino is good. Let's grab some Ennis Companies because we can. Loads more divisions because even though a lot of these groups don't even deserve them. Because they lost way too many soldiers by being... Incompetent fools. Oh, that's unfortunate. And let's go back and do this too. There you go. Signal translations. Implant twos. Sure. Why not? All right. Let's get rid of these guys. Yeah. No, you're not gonna lose. You're going to force the attack. How, how would you lose? They can't pierce you. Well, only one division attacking, and maybe that's why. Oh, you're attacking over here, maybe? Maybe you guys... How are you defeated? What the heck? Well, we lost 50... How did we lose 50... There's no way. There's absolutely no way we lost 51 guys doing this. That is absolute fake news. What is going on? There's no way we lost... They can't even pierce us. They can't even pierce us. Soft attack. Grab more soft attack. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mexican Reclass Image Zone, do 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 Flying Death Claws, Pan American Alliance. Yeah, no. Actually we can we can never do that anyways. Must support sixty percent more resistance. Horses. Although there were about eight million horses in pre war America, they all died out due to the Great War, nuclear winter, and hungry survivors. Now, the EPA wants to use genetic engineering to revive horses and other large mammals rather than engineering death claws with laser guns. Oh, that's, oh why not? Great, now give them lasers. Cool, not bad, that's pretty good. And every man a car. In pre-war America, every American dreamed of owning a car. Today, about 1 in 200 people in California do, and the rest of the nation is worse off. We can revive the American auto industry and promise some sort of people's car, because life, as they say, is a highway. And Enclave will ride it all night long. And I'll end up so soon, it's just, we need a little bit more time doing this stuff first. You guys over here, totally fine, don't care. You guys are over here, totally fine, don't care. You can sit up here. That'd be nice. Good. Actually, do we build any more power stations? Probably not. Let's get through one more focus and then we'll call it an episode. Because I definitely need to take a break from this. Whew. 
Stimulus? Do they deserve stimulus? No, honestly, they really don't. They really don't deserve jack squat from anybody or anything. Seriously, where's the uh, genocide button? I'm ready to just get rid of all these people. They wanted Santa Ana, so... The families, the families of Vegas. New Vegas is one of the richest cities of the West, but it's also under influence of some powerful families. With their economic growth, they've begun to spread their influence beyond New Vegas, and we need to decide how to handle them. Consider himself a family man. Not bad. Sergeant Dorn leads the police to break up the families. Yep. Get of an ambush. You can read about that if you like to. Honestly, at this point, who would even try to ambush our caravans? That's literally a death wish right there. And I'll, I'll make sure we build enough stuff here, too, enough infrastructure and such like that. Uh, these guys... Actually, we still could figure out which one we want to do. Every man a car. Starlight gazes. We still need to do some of this stuff, too, which we'll get to. And greatest power in the wastes. We'll probably do that one. Incorporate these guys. Contact loss of that sucks. Incorporating the Nevada Rangers? We can't just annex them. We have to still go to war with them because for some reason we still have 200% or more army compared to them. And we need more legitimacy, too, so. Greatest power in the wastes. NCR and Brotherhood are most powerful groups of the wastes, but there are others who strive to protect... Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I'm sure we can find use for them. We'll see what happens. Hoover Dam, not bad. Oh, the Project Garita. What does that one do? Sending rescue team, of course, that's what we came over here for. Found the expedition, thank goodness. We always find them, which is good. Red Menace. Don't care about this. Ooh, Gek stuff. Where do we want to put the Gek? Morta? Rocket launchers? Mark Lee? Well, I guess we could do that one. It doesn't seem like it's super that important. I mean, I don't really care that much. And the open road. Is it this one we needed? I can't remember. And we get enough equipment from everybody. But although thousands of cars are still in use some 200 years after the Great War, few of any have been built. That changes with the decision to build a factory outside Reno to build this crisis highwayman. The highwayman, rugged enough to drive off road throughout the waste, powered by whatever fuel cells are lying around, represents America's can do spirit. Economists estimate that within 20 years, one of every 40 Americans will own a car. Eat, play, Johnny Cash. Cool. But let's go ahead and do this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, even though I actually found this one to be very aggravating and annoying. It's very, very annoying. But I apologize for my irritations but if you enjoyed it please consider leaving a like it does help me out subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below and i'll see you tomorrow when we will end probably this campaign thanks for watching have a great rest of your day